It gets him, he gives him a chance to actually talk to some of the key players who are handling these difficult issues. But uh, as you say, uh, it's a difficult time to get any attention there. Here's Anthony Albanese talking about this in Washington. President Biden has played a very constructive role. Uh, if you look at the emphasis that President Biden uh, has made, uh, clearly calling out Hamas, uh, clearly as well calling for humanitarian aid to be allowed uh, to Gaza. Yeah, Kristen, uh, Anthony Albanese there, as you'd expect, supporting the position the US has taken. And to be fair, of course, President Joe Biden has both said and done the right thing when it comes to Israel, especially, of course, highlighted by his quick visit to visit uh, with Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel. But back in Washington, just yesterday, have a look at this performance. This is what worries so many people about the US president. He's walking off. He doesn't know whether he wants a ceasefire or not. Is the US supporting the hostages for a ceasefire deal? Why did you? We should have a ceasefire. Not a ceasefire, we should have a hostage release. Yeah, indeed. Of course, the US position is not for a ceasefire. It's for those hostages to be freed. It's a worry, isn't it, Kristen, that he just muddles everything up the whole time? Of course. I mean, you don't call for a ceasefire when one side has accomplished their goal of killing as many civilians as possible, beheading babies, slaughtering entire families. It's terrifying that this man uh, is who is leading our country right now sending money to Gaza. I mean, how are we going to guarantee that that money won't end up in the hands of Hamas? So at that point, we'd be funding Israel and then simultaneously funding their enemy and essentially fighting a war against ourselves uh, with our own money. The whole thing, it, it's just disorganized. And, and uh, this president, it, it's scary watching him trying to deal with all of this at once. Yeah, a difficult time for any president, but especially for President Joe Biden at the moment. Let's get back to the domestic issues. And he faces uh, all sorts of problems on the Hill, of course. The House of Representatives still hasn't got a speaker. That's impacted Anthony Albanese's trip because he was expected to deliver an address, a speech to a joint sitting of Congress. That can't happen without the speaker. So I don't know whether he's going to get to speak to the Senate or just not speak to a gathering uh, on Capitol Hill at all. Yeah, yeah, it's it's to be de determined. I don't know what will happen either. I will say, you know, Republicans had been complaining about Kevin McCarthy uh, being too establishment. He was the previous speaker, and I totally understand those concerns. But uh, you need a speaker who can kind of bring together all of the different factions of the Republican Party. We have a very fractured party on the right. Yeah, indeed. Now, one of the uh, big highlights, of course, of a state visit is the state dinner. And when you have a state dinner at the White House, uh, a lot of people like to get invited and they like to get some big names along. There's speculation that Kate Blanchett could be there or Margot Robbie. Of course, Australia does pretty well for successful actors and actresses who are well known right across uh, the states. But we don't really know exactly who will turn up, except we have been told that the Americans, uh, the president is putting on some music uh, at the White House courtesy of the B-52. So you're going to turn the White House into something like this. A bit of love shack at the White House, Kristen, and, you know, maybe they'll bring some uh, Australian rock lobster along as well. I'm amazed you haven't got a ticket. You should be going there for us and telling us everything that unfolds. Oh, I know. It's going to be uh, quite the show. I mean, Albanese had better just cross his fingers and hope that, you know, Biden doesn't start their meeting or this his press conference by saying, it's an honor to be here with the prime minister of Austria. I mean, this is the kind of thing he regularly does. Um, and, you know, this whole event will be memorable if for no other reason uh, than you folks in Australia will get a good laugh at our expense because our president is bound to say something stupid. But uh, we Yanks, we won't be offended we are embarrassed by him on the daily and uh you know he often starts uh speaking and then we'll stop mid-sentence and say something like uh well never mind about that and then just kind of start wandering around we can't wait Kristen. thanks for having us